Hello, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Matt D'Arcangelo, and welcome to this video storyboard on 2nd of the 417th August 2019 Battle Assembly. We are a drill sergeant unit focused on training the next generation of Army soldiers in basic combat training. Our headquarters is in Danbury, Connecticut, and we have companies located in Danbury, Connecticut, West Hartford, Connecticut, Lodi, New Jersey, and Fort Hamilton in Brooklyn, New York. We are the Mohegan Warriors, and we're a part of 3rd Brigade, 98th Division. August was a special battle assembly where we held a change of responsibility ceremony to welcome incoming Command Sergeant Major Terry Patterson and to honor the interim Command Sergeant Major, First Sergeant Greg Gerhold. I want to say thank you to all the friends and family that traveled in for the ceremony, but not only them, to, I want to say thanks to the friends and family that stayed behind at home to help walk the dogs, clean the kitchen, take care of laundry, mow the lawn, and do all the other tasks and things that help us serve as soldiers in the United States Army Reserves. Thank you. We appreciate it. I also want to say thank you to all the special guests that attended the ceremony, including Brigade Commander Colonel Chang, Command Sergeant Major Carrington, Major Retired Parker, and Command Sergeant Major Retired Everett Patterson. We served as subject matter expert on his time in rehearsals and preparation to make the ceremony truly special. I also want to thank the Color Guard for their efforts, as well as the Sword Bear, Staff Sergeant Kuzminski, the Commander of Troops, Mass Sergeant Coma, and the narrator, Captain Paxi. I also want to say a special thanks to Master Sergeant Morgan, who filled two roles during the ceremony, lending his special talents as photographer to make this video possible, and his singing abilities and singing the national anthem. For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red Thank you, that was impressive. We also continued our emphasis on physical fitness. We did an excellent training session in the gym that started with 20 minutes of cardio and then moved into a nine minute EMOM of dumbbell snatches, planks on your tiptoes to make them extra spicy, and hand release push ups. This was a great workout and it left me sore. It's also a great one to highlight from both a movement perspective and a style of workout perspective. We can all improve our fit, physical fitness. And this is a workout that can be done with a limited amount of time, space, and tools. And getting workouts in like this is a great way to make that happen. Here's a couple tips to improve the frequency of our workouts. Make working out a top priority. Don't try to fit it in Schedule time and put first things first. The second point is, even when space and resources are severely constrained, you can get a workout like this in. Hand release push-ups take no, no tools or equipment. And it's an excellent part of the new Army Combat Fitness Test where we can push ourselves to improve. Planks are great core exercise and the dumbbell snatches an excellent translation into the new medicine ball throw. If you don't have dumbbells, you can use plates, you can use kettlebells, or just about any type of weight, or just try the movement with no weight at all. It'll still burn. The other major accomplishment of the weekend was the finalization of the operations order for the Mohegan Warrior Cup competition for the best company. Will Alpha Company be able to repeat? I bet the competition will be intense. 
The events will include rifle and 9mm marksmanship with the highest average scores for the company, accounting for the competition. Army or warrior tasks, the Army combat fitness test, a stress shoot, and a ruck run with ascending weights through each lap. October will also feature an officer professional development and NCO professional development exercise to help expand our strategic thinking and focus on why we do things in the military the way we do them. The exercise will focus on current events within the Straits of Hormuz. And each country's objectives will be analyzed within the area of interest. The battalion staff and companies will be each assigned a country or group of countries and will analyze those objectives in terms of each country's center of gravity, critical capabilities, critical vulnerabilities, and critical requirements. To recap, we held an excellent change of responsibility ceremony that showcased the pageantry of military history and tradition we improved our physical fitness. We took a significant step forward in being ready for an excellent field training exercise in October. If you're watching this video and you're already part of 2417 or a family member of someone who is, thank you for your efforts. If you are a drill sergeant or you're interested in becoming a drill sergeant, we'd love to have you in the unit. We're also looking for company commanders, first sergeants, and other folks for key staff positions. Please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. And also, I want to give one last thanks to Master Sergeant Sean Morgan for his photography that helped make this video possible. Go Mohegan Warriors! If you happen to be watching this video and you know somebody else who's interested in joining a high-speed Army Reserve unit, please like the video and share it with them.